California couple strikes gold after finding $10 million of 19th century coins buried on their property. The lucky unnamed couple in their 40s stumbled on the historic find on their property last spring. The gold coins dating from 1847 to 1894 were stashed in eight cans along a trail the couple had walked for years. The once-in-a-lifetime hoard is likely the most valuable ever found in the United States. A Northern California couple out walking their dog in February 2013 on their gold country property. Stumbled across a modern-day bonanza, $10 million in rare, mint condition gold coins buried in the shadow of an old tree. Nearly all of the 1,427 coins, dating from 1847 to 1894, are in uncirculated, mint condition. Said David Hall, co-founder of Professional Coin Grading Service of Santa Ana, which recently authenticated them. Although the face value of the gold pieces only adds up to about $27,000, some of them are so rare that coin experts say they could fetch nearly $1 million apiece. Kagan, whose family has been in the rare coin business for 81 years, would say little about the couple other than that they are husband and wife. Are middle-aged and have lived for several years on the rural property where the coins were found. He first met the couple last April. They have no idea who put the, the coins there, he said. The pair are choosing to remain anonymous, Kagan said, in part to avoid a renewed gold rush to their property by modern-day prospectors armed with metal detectors. They are a self-employed couple in their 40s. The family and the attorneys researched who might have put them there, and they came up with nothing, Kagan said. The nearest we can guess is that whoever left the coins might have been involved in the mining industry. They also don't want to be treated any differently, said David McCarthy, chief numismatist for Kagan Incorporated of Tiburon. Their concern was this would change the way everyone else would look at them, and they're pretty happy with the lifestyle they have today, he said. They plan to put most of the coins up for sale through Amazon while holding on to a few keepsakes. They will use the money to pay off bills and quietly donate to local charities, Kagan said. Before they sell them, they are loaning some to the American Numismatic Association for its National Money Show, which opens Thursday in Atlanta. What makes their find particularly valuable, McCarthy said, is that almost all of the coins are in near-perfect condition. That means that whoever put them into the ground likely socked them away as soon as they were put into circulation. Because paper money was illegal in California until the 1870s, he added, it's extremely rare to find any coins from before that of such high quality. It wasn't really until the 1880s that you start seeing coins struck in California that were kept in real high grades of preservation, he said. The coins, in $5, $10 and $20 denominations, were stored more or less in chronological order. McCarthy said, with the 1840s and 1850s pieces going into one canister until it was filed, then new coins going into the next one and the next one after that. The dates and the method indicated that whoever put them there was using the ground as their personal bank and that they weren't swooped up all at once in a robbery. Although most of the coins were minted in San Francisco, one $5 gold piece came from as far away as Georgia. Kagan and McCarthy would say little about the couple's property or its ownership history, other than it's in a sprawling hilly area of gold country and the coins were found along a path the couple had walked for years. On the day they found them last spring, the woman had bent over to examine an old rusty can that erosion had caused to pop slightly out of the ground. They found eight cans in total. Don't be above bending over to check on a rusty can, he said she told him. They are located on a section of the property the couple nicknamed Saddle Ridge, and Kagan is calling the find the Saddle Ridge hoard. He believes it could be the largest such discovery in U.S. history. One of the largest previous finds of gold coins was $1 million worth uncovered by construction workers in Jackson, Tennessee, in 1985. 
more than 400,000 silver dollars were found in the home of a Reno, Nevada, man who died in 1974 and were later sold intact for $7.3 million. Gold coins and ingots said to be worth as much as $130 million were recovered in the 1980s from the wreck of the SS Central America. But historians knew roughly where that gold was because the ship went down off the coast of North Carolina during a hurricane in 1857.